All right, this is the hand show mini display. It's like a little small display that's going to take a, take the place in the back of the steering wheel column. Just give you a little display with information that you hopefully just basically need, what I think I need, and not block the air vent flow so you can stay nice and cool or nice and warm. Uh, this is the wire harness right here that it came with. Um, I just brought out a couple, a couple little plastic pry tools. Um, I think that's what the instructions said to use. Um, this looks like the wire that goes to the back of the, the modular. Yep, display power. Also goes back here. Yep. And then here is a reference of that. And then that's a spare cable, and I guess for some upgrade or something like that. This runs along here. You got a little split here. This is for, I believe this is the part you ignore because that's for the Intel model. So they made a clean thing and two in one. So if you have an Intel model, I guess if you wanted to sell this, you could sell it for Intel. I have the AMD, which is the 2022 and up model. And uh, these come with these. This is the AMD version. This is the A pillar. It comes with instructions as well, nice and clear. Um, yep, this is that little, oh, there's the little writing, I was looking for that. It says, what's that say? An AMD CAN bus adapter for the door pillar. So basically, I mean, you guys probably seen plenty of videos of this. Um, this is our 2022 Model 3 in performance. And it's gonna take the place of this. So this is gonna go right here, basically right there in its place. So I got the light and everything because I think I need to dive into there and start pulling stuff apart, pulling this carpet back, slipping the wire back there and uh, slipping it on the other side of the door and then perhaps there's wires back there let's see all right so i am on removing this thing i just pop this thing out hopefully it's not that hard to take off ah, always hard to do it one-handedly actually i've never done this before so i'm not sure ah. Interesting. Oh, it sounds like these things are going to snap off. <clears throat> All right, basically after popping both these out on the side, just just pop pop. Um, I saw some older model ones had these like adapters and contraptions. I just pulled this thing up and it just released. So I wasn't, oh, I wanted to show that I finally got that piece off. You just take that triangle piece off with the thing. It, it's held on by, by three parts. And, um, you know, there's a clip here. Hmm, maybe I should use flash for this. See, there's a clip there. And the other two clips on the side are uh, right there on this thing. But as soon as you get it released, you just lift up on this thing. And it pops off and that's it and then so I can get to the steering wheel now Not too bad I'm just gonna lift that and move it up on the top here you can see see is the, it's the open sp yes to the opening now I can get to that steering wheel so you can see after I removed all that now it looks like there's some uh, clips here that are holding this leather in place because uh, I'll be honest with you guys, I was trying to pry around here and it wasn't coming off very easily. Maybe this is very new and tight or whatever. But um, hopefully pry tool will help me out here and dig these uh, little, little guys out. Or maybe I need the smaller one. Oh, come on. I have different size. All right, let's try this one instead. 
putting up such a fight. Kind of want these to be reused again, right? YouTube people make it look pretty easy, even though I'm sort of handy, and that's how you get it out. Well, eventually. Hello, I know. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Hmm. You're gonna need to yank it out a little bit more, huh? There you go, guys. Let's do that. There we go. Oh, good lord. All right. So I got that released. So the idea is now, hopefully, just reach back here and and pop this plastic thing off. Hopefully, that's that's the, the ticket. Mm. There it is. And that is how you get this piece off. Eventually. Hmm. Oh, there's, there's something else holding on to this back here. Hmm. Okay, that's something new for this model year. Okay. watching others struggle there we go finally that thing's off now it's going to be replaced you got to get that um, leather thing off and now you can see the whole steering column let's go do that real quick all right so this is a matter of just removing these over here they're simply on here like this i don't know if you can see that or not there's a little see that little hook right there just pull that back and out and then these little guys, they're a squeezer. So you just squeeze it with your finger, push it through, in theory. All right, one. barely even fit in here. Real time. Ugh. Okay, so out with the old, right? I guess for your reference, that's the part number if you needed it from Tesla. There you go. Now we're going to transfer it over to this guy. So let's do the same thing, just basically snapping these back into place here and make a. It's always easier to put the grid together, hopefully. Okay, they all pop through. Just need to now pop this thing over to hook on there. Same on this side. Huh. There. See? Right over there. Now this is ready to rock with the leather. Get the leather back on. I'm gonna slap this thing back on there. Of course. I gotta run this wire harness real quick. Okay. What I'm uh, seeing here is, uh, I, I'm gonna go this route. They they have instructions to go through and through the floorboard and come out down this way and through here. But I've seen other people do this and I think I'm gonna go this route where I'm gonna run the wire along the top of here. And I'm just gonna run uh, um, some tape on top of that so it won't just go flopping around. 
But I remember you could pull this off. Oh yeah, there it is. See, this thing goes here, obviously. And that little hole right there was this part right there. You see that? That went there. And then it clips back into there and it has to be tucked right back underneath the on there it looks like we have to remove this whole panel here this whole thing looks like it's held not by that by this so we're just gonna grab our little pry tool again plastic thing in my jigger slip that out Whoop. oh where did that crap go well I think I just dropped it in here yeah I did well, hopefully I can find it when I go dig that out. Mm. <sighs> Looks like this just comes off. Very plasticky. How does this come off here? Oh, yeah, this snaps right over here. You see that? I lifted it right here. It's a hole right kind of where your finger can go. I don't know if everyone has that spot. Ooh, there we go. All right, that whole thing's coming undone. And voila, it's a one single pillar piece of this door. Don't be scared. Things do sound like they're going to break when you pull them off, but they're just little snap clips. Take a look here. Look for that for a part number. Yeah, there you go. Oh, there's a clip. And there's another clip down there. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay. So I'm going to just leave that over there. And now, let's go some hunting for where my plastic thing went <laughs> let's see it, it fell in here oh I heard something roll oh this thing Where'd this come from hmm. oh more things to discover Oh, there's that um, blue plug right there. And I think that's the other plug right there where I have to plug it in. Yeah, that's where the harness is. Well, I'm not going to waste time keep looking around here. But you can kind of see where all the cables are going right here. There's that plug right here. And I believe that's that one right there that I have to plug. So it's this one. This is a 2023, or excuse me, 22 Tesla Model 3. There's the blue. Right here on the door sill of the passenger side. This is the stuff that people are always wondering, where's this at? I bet you unplug this and this. You have a certain amount of time to plug that in. Let me search for that black thing and continue on to this uh, install. Well, that's pretty straightforward. I just flip the thing over right now, the screen, and I plug this in. You can see it has a clip there, right? That clip right there. You just basically squeeze it together till you hear a clip sound push it all the way and it's extremely firm you have to I had to use two hands and uh, then I'm gonna go plug in the rest of that stuff over there okay I always thought this was when I saw in the video it looks so seamless when everyone else was doing it um, there's this little thing right here I don't know if you can tell I'm gonna lift that up you see that slot down there it's like a little slot that matches up with this leather stitching that needs to kind of line up with it so I kind of line that up and that here's the I don't know if anyone showed the close-up of this but let's see if I can get that hey come on focus see that hole right there that's where this first part goes into and then there's another one see that hole right here that's where that one goes so you basically got to line all those together and obviously and the fun part is this neck thing to squeeze it underneath and do the same on this side and that one clip and align this thing together. 
And basically, you just squeeze this whole thing together and hopefully a snap crackle pops and stays together. And then eventually I can squeeze these two down in this hole right here. Let's see how I do. All right, so this is the moment of truth here. Um, it looks like, I mean, this is just loosely going to be put over here. Um, so what I'm going to do here. Run this along here somewhere. Find a spot. Eventually. <laughs> looks pretty easy to tuck away. But the moment of truth I want to know is, does this stuff work? Okay, this is pretty obvious where this goes. Pretty obvious. There's this one blue cable and this blue cable, and it looks like they seamlessly go together and I hope it's dummy proof it is so I'm gonna plug that in right here and all right that was <laughs> easy now which one's the Intel base side one okay that's the Intel one okay this this oh by the way note to self because if I had if something was wrong you can take a look here note to self just in case I if this screen went out or something due to power, oops, that's a 20 amp, small 20 amp automotive fuse, like any other fuse. So that's cool. So it has a little fuse to protect itself. So now I need to unplug, appearingly, this sure looks like this one right here. This looks like this one right here. So I need to unplug this, plug this, piggyback this one with this one. So let's see how this goes. And I know you have a certain amount of time to do this. Okay. Let's see. I might be struggling here. Let's see if I can plug this in. Oops. Is it this way? Oh, interesting. Let me plug that back in and see what's going on. Maybe that's not the one. Somewhere else. Okay, whew. All right, I needed both hands for that. So I just piggybacked uh, this harness to this one. It clipped. It made a nice audible sound. And then I plugged this in just now. And uh, look what came up. Voila. Sweet. I love it. Now let's see if the functions work. Okay. Yeah. Looks like the distance thing. They said, hold this for five seconds. Oops, shut off the screen. Oh, that booted it beyond it. See, there's the, uh, uh, the thing. Oh, what the heck, man? Okay, so one, two, three. Okay, there we go. Now, um, obviously I want Fahrenheit. Uh, theme, I actually want it dark. Pressure should be PSI for me. This should be miles per hour. Language is e easy. Oh, yeah, we got the two uh, UIs right there. And that's the UT or uh, user interface UI1. And then there's UI2, UI1. I don't even know if you guys can see that or not. See how it's UI1? Oh, my finger allows you to see that. I have the power in my finger. It's not even touchscreen, but somehow you can see it when my finger disappears. Magic. All right. Well, that, that looks like that's it. So then we just scroll up to, where is it? That thing right there. That means return. And then I figure, I think you just press forward. There. Yeah, it goes back. This is what I wanted right here. Um, other people say they don't want this, uh, air pressure, but I know our doors are open right now, so I don't think they show the tire pressure if you're driving, but it shows the tire pressure. See, it shows the car here and they'll show the tire pressure there. Um, and then the battery percentage is accurate here and you got your drive and you got your, um, degrees over here, which, uh, yeah, yep, that's accurate. 66 degrees. Actually, why do I have my flash on? See, there you go. See, it's 66 degrees. 224 miles left. Let's see. 71%. It says 71%. That's accurate. So that's that's good. 
so the doors are open but um if you're if you're a racing or a driving uh, car enthusiast like me i always like seeing the air pressures on our mercedes over there i always have the there's a dial over here that um you can customize inside the center of it and that's where i have the tire pressure there's a lot of times where i saved our bacon and we found out we had a nail in a tire and stuff because one was draining out going losing air but i can feel it in the steering wheel too and you can feel the alignment being off but anyways that is pretty much it and now it's just a matter of doing everything in reverse order tucking this up and wiring it back up and then hopefully this this is it all right so i'm gonna i tucked it along here and went down there dodging that clip and i just taped it and i taped it along here of course making sure there's no clips any excess you shove it down the wheel here or some over on this side right here down below where i already put down the pad and everything and put this back into place not exactly maybe i might fix that a little better tuck it up a little bit oops see there's little rubber things you need to pull out to level or straighten that out there you go bounces back Anyways, so screen's still on, still working. Fantastic. And just like that, we're done. Finally. Everything's buttoned in. Those three clips, boom, boom. Put this on the top. Line them properly. Once you got it where, where you want it, just hammer it all the way across. And it should work. Let's see. See? They do not have any reading yet because we haven't drove, but you know, so you can adjust this now. This is perfect. We like dark mode, dark modes here, you know, dark mode. This is how we keep it throughout the day and night. It's pretty cool. It is saying 66 degrees, 66 degrees outside. I don't have my seatbelt on. Let's see if I put my seatbelt on. What will it do? What do you know? Clipped in the seatbelt and it's on. Unclip the seatbelt and it shows the seatbelt is not on anymore. Pretty cool. Open the doors. Shows is open. Close. I wonder what else does it show? Does it open the frunk? I'm going to press open on the frunk. Yes, it does. Shows it in red. Oh, the camera can't pick it up, though. Let's see if we can pick it up. No, the camera does not pick it up. Well, kind of, kind of hazing right there. Let's see, I wonder how I can glare it. You, do you folks see that when I put my thumbs? It's like, it's red. To my human eye, this is very red right there, except weird my camera does not pick it up oh 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 it's kind of it's trying oh maybe i need to get close enough but it says it's red and then if i open the trunk let's see what it does yep the trunk is red too see they're both the same red even red color except it just doesn't pick it up very well on the camera but just wanted to share that with you that's very interesting Oh, I can close the trunk, of course. Should close by itself. There, you can see it. That closed. Well, that's pretty nifty. I think this is fantastic. So if I went to drive... And, uh... Well, the trunk's open. Oh, it won't let me because the, the trunk is open. Okay, park. Okay, relax. <laughs> Ignore aid, continue to drive. See, yeah, there, it's in D. It's in D right there. It's in D right there. Reverse, reverse, right there. It's matching. So if I put in neutral, I forgot how you do. There, there's neutral. N, neutral, neutral, neutral. Okay, so you go park, it's park. I think you're supposed to hold this button down and it's supposed to hold park. It shows it there. Um, oh, I guess it doesn't have that there. 
So my following distance, headlights are on. That is true, they are on. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, that was fun for me. I absolutely love this. Um, in fact, let me see here. I'm going to do some steering wheel adjustment here. Let's see, steering wheel. This is from my eye level go, looking down at this thing. I'm just putting it towards my face in my eye. So this is what I'm seeing. And this is if I looked up, I'm up in the road. Nothing's intrusive. You can bring it in. Yep, everything looks pretty good. It's pretty good. Actually, that's fantastic. That's great. And you can see the vent is completely clear and it's going to allow some air here. If I turn this on right here. Let's see if we turn on air. Let's see. Full blast. Put it in the front. Oh, yeah. Oh, you can feel that. Oh, yeah. No obstruction. You can move this around. Oh, yeah. Up in my face now. Nice and low. I did it the lowest. It's still coming right across here, my hands and everything. Right or low along here while you're driving. I don't know if you can hear that. I'm sure you can. See, there's nothing obstructing. That vent has the shot. But, you know, in cold weather here in uh, the Bay Area right now, I, I'm always on defrost in the rear and no air. Oh, just turn that off. Cool.